NASA's search for a crew to man its long-range space station was intense. This new breed of astronauts needed youth, vitality, and the ability to look good for promotional posters. Ultimately, they selected five astronauts for the project known as Melrose Space. Allison, I think you better check your mirror. I think your space helmet messed up your hair. What do you mean, Amanda? I haven't worn my helmet today. Oh, I'm sorry. So where are Billy and Jake? Why? So you can steal them away from us? Face it, Amanda, they're not interested in you. We'll see about that. Billy! <laughs> Billy, where were you last night? I waited in the engine deck for hours. I was writing an article about dating in space for Escapade magazine. Oh, well, maybe you could use your writing expertise and help me out on the captain's log, say, about seven-ish. Tonight, Billy's helping me make the new star charts. The captain's log is more important. Star charts! The captain's log! Enough! I'm my own man, and I'll do what I want to do. Come with me, Billy. Okay. <laughs> Jake. Jake, where were you last night? I waited in the decompression chamber for hours. I was up late repairing the rocket boosters. What about repairing our relationship? It was a mistake for us to break up. No, it wasn't. My relationship with Joe has commitment, depth. It's been the best two days I've ever had. Joe is wrong for you. I bet she doesn't even know what kind of moose you use. Huh. Jed Cream 7000. And not only that, but I know that he only uses conditioner on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Well, except in February, when I give my hair down time, go with the wet look. <sighs> that is so thoughtful. You know, that's a lot of attitude, considering all that I've done to help you. If it weren't for my recommendation to NASA, you would have never been chosen for this mission. Oh, come on, Jake. You need to fix the teleponder, or else we won't be able to watch Hairstyles with Rich and Famous tonight. Yeah, tonight they're having that special on Lyle Lovett. <laughs> Jake, before you go, I have something to tell you. When you and I were seeing each other, I was secretly seeing Billy in the orbiter docking collar. So you were two-timing during our two-timing? How many times? Two. Well, that's two-timing too too many times. Oh, no! We're losing power. She's right. I guess we will be out of oxygen in exactly two minutes. Two minutes? I can't believe it. That doesn't even give me enough time to work on my tan. I'm gonna die pale. Well, so Everyone to the pool. Yes. Before we run out of oxygen, I have to know, do you love me? No. I love Allison. And Joe and I are getting back together. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to go in my escape pod all by myself. Escape pod? Yes, it holds two people, but I wouldn't want you to leave your loved ones. Who, Allison? Are you kidding me? <laughs> While I was two-timing her with you, she was two-timing me with Steve. Or was that Michael? And Joe and I have been on bad terms ever since the bike shop burnt down. And since that was your fault, you owe me one. Who left this curling iron on? I did. Why? It's overheated our circuits. That's right. Power levels are fine. It was all a false alarm. Oh. <sighs> Say, Allison, how's about we go look at the Big Dipper tonight? Bad chance, slacker. You are going to leave me. No, I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the mission. Excuse me. You've left me before. And as long as the ratings stay up, this mission is scheduled to last another four years. Joe, uh, you want to help me pick out a conditioner? Tomorrow's Saturday. Why don't you get on your motorcycle and drive to Mars? Amanda, please, take me back. No, take me back. Forget it. You guys are too emotional and unpredictable. I'm through with the both of you. I found the perfect man. He's doing the teleporter any second now. I'm looking for one Amanda Woodward. <laughs> Mr. Sprock, it's so nice to meet you. I'm the manager of this space station, and I believe we have a vacancy. Fascinating.